Hi everyone, my name is Natasha and today I'm going to show you how to boil a perfect buckwheat. This is a one-on-one -on -one tutorial and you will learn how to boil for yourself the perfect buckwheat for the porridge or for pasta or just like this plain. Buckwheat is a perfect substitute for any wheat and it's gluten-free as well and it's full of nutrients. I'm going to link in the notes below all the information. So let's get started. So the buckwheat is actually a seed and that's why it's gluten-free and it's full of uh, nutrients. Yeah, it's a carbohydrate, but um, it's a great substitute for any wheat that you can um, have. So it's full of nutrients, as I said, and it's very, very tasty. It has a nutty flavor and it's a big difference from the um, raw organic buckwheat and the roasted one. The roasted one is uh, rich in flavor, it's more flaky and you can use it more like in porridges for breakfast or just as lunch with the tomato sauce. So first we'll start with the organic buckwheat. Yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, you'll need for the buckwheat uh, just water. It's a very, very simple process. Just put it in a strainer with plenty of cold water, give it a rinse. So for one cup of buckwheat, you put two parts of water. For the roasted buckwheat, as I said, it's perfect for porridges. It's the same procedure. You just strain it and rinse it. This is to make sure that the buckwheat doesn't have any impurities and it's very, very clean. So for this type of buckwheat, we are putting one part of the buckwheat and three parts of water. Buckwheat is on the stove. Yes, it's uh, medium to low heat because we will have to make it simmer. Just put your water. Yeah. Put the lid on and boil for 15 to 20 minutes, depending when it will absorb the water. But the best timing is 20 minutes. So lid on and leave it to simmer for 20 minutes. So on the medium to low heat, add the water to the buckwheat. For the roasted buckwheat, it's one part buckwheat, three parts water. And let it to simmer for 15 minutes from the moment when it starts boiling. So first we will boil it and after simmering for 15 minutes with the lid on. So this is the buckwheat flour. It's very silky. Uh, it doesn't have that elasticity as regular flour, but you can have amazing dishes. You can make pasta or you can even make pizza. Make sure to go and check the videos that I have on my channel. Uh, the buckwheat flour is very versatile, you can use it in a lot of recipe and it's worth trying it. So this is our buckwheat. This is 15 minutes, uh, bring it to a boil and after simmering. And this is 20 minutes bringing to a boil and after simmering. So as texture, you can see that they are different. This is like more, um, the seeds are intact and this one is more flaky and it smells amazing as well. And it has that strong nutty flavor. You can have it just plain, or as I said, in a porridge, as a granola, you can use it. It's extremely versatile. It can be savory or it can be sweet. It's entirely up to you. So this was my one-to-one -one tutorial of how to boil buckwheat. This is an extremely easy recipe. It's extremely versatile. You can use it in desserts. You can make pasta or uh, pizza even. Make sure to go and check my videos. They're amazing from buckwheat pancakes and buckwheat pizza as well. It's tasty, it's delicious, it's nutty, and as well, it's gluten-free. And it's healthy as well. Don't forget about this. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well i'm posting every tuesday and every friday thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video